Hello and welcome to this, the second part of our exploration of bump maps, normal maps, displacement maps, and vector displacement maps in Random and for Maya. In this exercise, I'll be working with a sculpt which I actually did in the National Gallery of Victoria. Um, it's a Rodan bust. Um, so I sculpted this live using my Windows tablet and an Asus tablet and ZBrush. Now this is the low resolution mesh, which produces reasonably good results, but it's working at about 15,000 tries or 15,000 points. So I'll just run a quick render and get my image tool up here so we can see what's going on. So this is as it appears. Now this is just with a standard fung material, so I'm going to put on my default map material. Okay. And we'll re-render this. I'll just make that quick change to image tool that I want it always on top and re-render it. So this is entirely without any displacement or normal or anything else. We have quite a lot of detail here and I tend to work with as much detail as possible to start with. So re-render. Okay, so this is at a resolution of 15,000 points. Now in ZBrush, which I have here, you can see what I have at a highest subdivision level here. I've got approximately a quarter of a million points. So I'd like to be able to get the information from this into this model as efficiently as possible. Now, I can do it in a couple of ways. The way in which I intend doing it here is by transferring a normal map, by baking the normal map out. Now, the normal map is basically taking each of the lower resolution mesh uh, polygons and taking the normal direction of that, mapping on to these polygons extra information which is the direction in which each point of the map in the normal map would be painting relative to the existing normal. So we need to bake this out, it's virtually impossible to paint it. Let's just have a look at the process within, within ZBrush. That out of the way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go drop down to my lowest level. Okay, here's my lowest level. This is the same one that I've actually got in um, in Maya. I'm going to go to my Z plugin, and using my multi-map exporter, I'll just be exporting a normal map. My current setting has it at 1496 resolution. That's width and height. Um, I have it in tangent space with smooth UVs and adaptive um, an adaptive mode, which will actually produce slightly higher quality um, normals. So nothing that strange with any of this, and I'll just create all maps, which will bake it out. I'm going to call it Rodan Bust. Okay. Let me render this out. But 10 seconds or so to do that. 15 seconds to do it. Okay. Going back into Maya. So in Maya, I have my standard material applied here, random and map material. First section is colors and physical properties, next section being displacement. I'm going to drop that map in a texture slot here through a file. Okay, and it's a bust polysphere. You can see what it looks like here. Okay, turn off quadratic, turn it off, and my color space I want to have as linear sRGB. Okay, which we have now. And um, now what I want to do is just make sure I've got a subdivision scheme on it. Just generally good practice, I like to have a subdivision scheme because that will make sure that we're actually going down to micro polygon scale here. So in my shape, attributes, render man and add a subdiv scheme. Okay, now if I render this, I shouldn't see a difference from the original render which I made. If we have a look here and render, get my it window back up, and I'm gonna open up my catalog, so I can see what's going on with the catalog. So there's no change to this yet. This is my render now, this is my previous render. Why am I not seeing normals? I'm not seeing any change to the appearance here. The reason is within Maya and within the um, 
Randomman from Maya. Currently, we're not telling Randomman at all to calculate anything in terms of displacement or normals. So I'm just going to set this to bump, which will actually call up to the render to say, yes, there's something in this whole block to look at. Now we have no bump, we have no displacement happening here at all. So the only change which we're going to see is due to the normals which are down here. So if I now go to re-render, still we're not seeing anything. Now the reason for that, again, let's just check one more thing here. In our local settings here, we have ray tracing set to on, yes. And I need to actually change my float displacement to something. Still not seeing any information happening here. Ah, I see what's going on here. I have somehow disabled it. Normal map, tangent space. Let's have a look at this. Apologies for that. You probably saw it, but I didn't. Let's re-render that. And yes, we see a difference. So the thing I did wrong there was I actually had this disabled. Rather foolish of me. So let's have a look at the difference between what we have now and what we did have previously. So what we're seeing there is the extra detail. If you have a look at the beard, if you have a look at the ears, you're switching between the two. So you're seeing extra detail, but there's no extra geometry and it's not actually a bump, it's a normal map. Okay, let's just zoom into the beard somewhat and just do a quick render of this. Re-render. Okay, and if I Disable this. So it's subtle, but it's there. It's subtle because of the actual modeling which we have here. What it's doing basically is it's telling the light how to be reflected from the object. Now I'm going to stop things here for the moment. That's basically looking at applying a normal map. So the mistake I made there hopefully has helped you. Um, make sure you have, if I just to show you here one more time, if I turn off disabled here, or turn this to disabled, and I re-render it, it won't calculate. So this is something I noticed was a bit of a gotcha. Make sure you have at least something set in that, otherwise you won't actually calculate your normals. So I'll stop here for the moment, and hopefully this is of some use to you. Um, I'll come back later with some more on displacement maps.